I feel with every upcoming video, my face just gets redder and redder. Hey everybody, my name is Justin. I love to watch movies. If you guys love to watch movies too, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Today we're on top of the new Netflix film, Fill the Beat, starring Sophia Carson. After failing to find success on Broadway, April returns to her hometown and is recruited to train a misfit group of young dancers. I most know Sophia Carson from Disney Channel. She played Evie on the Three Descendants film, so it was nice to see her do something that is not on Disney Channel and doing something outside of that. She's starring in this Netflix film that has a lot of cliches. You know where the story is going to go. You know what's going to happen with the character. You know what kind of relationship she's going to form with these kids that she is training. You know kind of everything that is going to happen within this. And the movie doesn't do anything new. It doesn't try to shy away from being your typical film that's centered around just like this. It has a lot of cliches. It takes story routes that you've seen before. It has all of the elements of something like this. But I still enjoyed this film. We have Sophia Carson's character, April, who is very determined. She's very motivated to be on Broadway. She is always trying to do her best, but she's struggling financially to live where she lives in New York City, and she doesn't get casted in her role. So she has to return home. And you could tell with her character, because her character kind of is flat for a good half of the film. Not that the character is written poorly, but you could tell that she is disappointed within herself. She has to be convinced a lot to take on this job as a dance instructor for these young kids. She doesn't really want to do it because she wants to go back to Broadway. She wants to have more auditions, but it's just not really working out for her. Her character definitely does feel disappointed within herself. She doesn't feel motivated, but when she learns certain things and it could help her career, she takes on this job. Like I said, these cliche moments come into place because one half of the character in the beginning, she is moping around, she's upset, her career is not going how it planned out to be. But when she starts to form this relationship with these students and she you know, becomes more involved with what they are doing, that's when the character becomes more lighthearted and more heartwarming because you could tell that she's developing this relationship with these students and the true side of April is coming out and she's enjoying what she's doing. So the character progression is really nice. You could tell Sophia Carson uh, felt like this role was personal to her because she is somebody that is involved with dancing and musicals and everything. So we have her character that feels very disappointed in the beginning and then towards the end movie, she starts to realize things about herself and her career and what she wants to do in the future. So I felt like this had a really good progression of the character and have moments for her to kind of understand things about herself. There's also a lot of dance recitals and musical moments of these young students you know, performing on stage in front of judges and family and friends and things. And I think they're all choreographed really well. You can see the progression of the students as well. They started off really uh, not knowing what they're doing. And then at the end, you could tell that they had a lot of work going into these dance numbers and them succeeding as well. Fill the Beat was a fun film. You know, there were some humorous moments, but it definitely didn't feel new. The story, the characters, everything panned out the way I expected it to. I could tell the route that it was going to happen with the characters and the relationships and what was going to happen at the end as well. We all seen it coming, but where it works is definitely the character of April and her progression and the relationships with her students. I think it's an enjoyable film. I like Sophia Carson as an actress. I liked her on The Descendants films, one of my favorite characters on those movies. I like seeing her on this movie as well. I'm going to go ahead and give Fill the Beat a B-. minus. Thank you guys for your review for Fill the Beat. It is on Netflix now. Stay tuned for more up-and-coming Netflix content. You guys are the best as always. My name is Just Watch Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.